Michael Zimmerman, and it's Junius Lindsay Vineyard. Okay. Um, and and tell me a little bit about Junius Lindsay. Well, Junius Lindsay Zimmerman was my grandfather, and he started the uh, farm in 1894. Uh, I'm third generation on it, grew up there. And when I was 18, I wanted nothing more than to uh, get away. And when I was 40, I wanted nothing more than to come back. <laughs> So I came back and we started the we started planting in 2004, and uh, it's gone from there. We just opened a new tasting room, so uh, it's 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 very much a legacy project to uh, something that I hope I'll pass on to my kids, and it preserves the land and, and does something uh, I think fairly noble with it. Well, great. Uh, tell me about some of the wines that you produce. We Everything that we grow is native to the Rhone Valley in, in southern France. And that the, the, what we grow now is Syrah, Petite Syrah, Viognier, and Roussan. And we have plans in two years to add a couple more varietals from uh, the Rhone Valley. Okay. And what, what's your most popular wine? Uh, the most popular wine is Viognier. I was in the uh, Foreign Service... Uh, for 15 years and, and lived and, and knocked around all over the world and a lot of that time was spent in France and uh, I fell in love with Rhone wines at that point and I said that uh, if there could only be one grape in the world I'd probably want it to be a Viognier or a Roussan because it's just kind of the perfect uh, wine for uh, almost all occasions. Um, and we're here at the Yadkin Grape Festival today. Um, mm -hmm. Do you go to a lot of festivals? Is it is it one way you get? It's one way we get people uh, to we, try your wine. And we get them to try the wine. Uh, we want them to come to the tasting room. We have, I think, the only uh, open air tasting room uh, in North Carolina with a, a, a cave or cellar down below for winter time and parties. <laughs> so it's quite a unique experience because it sits right in the middle of the vineyard. Uh huh. And is your wine distributed? No, we, we have several said, retailers okay. in the immediate vicinity, but uh -huh. uh, we've up to this point been too small to uh, work with distributors. Uh, we're very much a boutique. We're very much uh, uh, about the highest quality that we can achieve and maintain. Okay, and about how many cases of wine do you produce a uh, year? It's, it's tough because the last two years have been... Uh, Atypical years, 07 was a freeze, 08 okay. was disease, okay. so 09 <laughs> finally is the first thing, uh, the first good year, uh -huh. and where we're close to nominal production and we should be looking at about 2,000 cases, so still very small. Okay, and and how was your harvest this year? I know we're sort of at the end. harvest was between 19 20 tons, so okay. uh, that would put us up to about the 17, 1800 case level. Okay, well that's great. Thank so you. We're, we're very proud of that. Thank you very much. Mark. Thank you.